Active Learning Game Design Part 4 – The Goal and Mechanics of the Game In this segment, we are going to examine the goal and mechanics of the game and why it is one of the most important elements to consider. Why do they matter? To understand why we must begin with goals and mechanics, we need to think about what a game is. According to game designer David Nisikowski, a board game is an interactive system with goal-oriented activities governed by rules. So a game is a cohesive space where specific rules apply. Dutch historian Johan Wiesinger created the famous notion of magic circle to describe this process. In the magic circle, the rules of the game apply. For example, in the real world, you can kick a ball in a net. But if you entered a football game, the same action would have a different meaning. You scored a goal. The notion of magic circle also means that participants in a game enter the magic circle and need to accept the same set of rules for the game to work. We call the process of entering the game's logic the player's engagement in the game and its opposite leaving the game's the player's disengagement. So in short, the game and mechanics matter because they help gate players' behavior and structure the experience. They also make sure that the player's engagement is deliberate and consented. The different types of goals. Till Fristo, game designer and founder of Nothing Sacred Games, suggests the following list of board game goals. Point competition. These are the most familiar. The idea is that each player tries to acquire the most points or collect the fewest points by the time the game ends. The end of the game then needs to be marked by something else, a time limit or a random event in the game, so that the scores determine the winner. Races. Here, the participants are trained to reach a certain point first, physical positions, call number, or another objective. Cooperative games are often a race against the game mechanics. Most games can actually be broken down in terms of point competition or race, even if the narration presents them differently. For example, in Pandemic, the players need to find four different cures to diseases, but it can just be seen as scoring four different points. Then you have elimination. Elimination games went out of fashion as the social dimension of playing games became more and more valued. It still comes up, however, the objective being to kick others out of the game before they kick you. Monopoly, of course, followed this one goal. Asymmetric goals. It must also be noted that players sometimes can have different and unique goals to accomplish or different means to reach the same goals. These usually are defined as characters' unique abilities or powers. Sometimes these goals can also be hidden from the other players. Subgoals are a subcategory of action that you need to accomplish to reach the main goal. They can both play as advantages for the players or obstacles to be set against their opponents. The real goal. To finish, let's not forget that, apart from the goal of the game itself, games usually have a greater purpose. They can be used to educate, socialize, tell a story, use and develop strategic or deductive skills, or simply allow people to have a good time together. While only the goal of the game needs to be explicitly stated, we should always keep in mind the real goal we want to achieve and what we want the game experience to be. This segment is now over. As always, sources can be found in the video description.